you have two responses to impending doom. So you might have a bad situation coming up, you might not have rent for the next month, or maybe you're like running out of money for something, maybe you just know something bad is about to happen. And I'm gonna let you guys know today how you can actually choose your response to what's gonna happen and how you respond to the impending situation might actually change the outcome of the situation in ways that you can't imagine. I'm gonna give you guys two stories. So in another life, when I first moved to LA, where I'm currently living, I was 18 years old. And back then, me and my friend would do this thing called subletting. Subletting is basically like Airbnb, but you get it through like Facebook Marketplace or you find these places through Craigslist. And subletting, you normally are at a place for like a month, two months, while the person that actually rents that apartment is away traveling or something of that manner. So a lot of times in these sublets, towards the end of our time there, um, we'd be running out of money. Just there's no other way to put it. We'd be running out of money. And I remember vividly, there is one sublet in particularly where I had told the person that, oh, hey, like I want another month for it, but please just give me a couple of days to get like the rent money together. And I think I didn't have a job at that point. I was just, I don't know, doing like, I don't know what I was doing at that point, but I didn't have a job. And basically I was telling this person, hey, I'm gonna have the money but I just need more time. So they were letting me stay. It was like a couple days free. Then I turned to like a week free. Then I turned to like two weeks free because I just kept promising, hey, I'll have the money, I'll have the money. Well, I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to get the money. And basically every day I was psyching myself out. I was so nervous. I thought that the person that owned the apartment was gonna like just kick down the door, like, cause they have a set of keys as well too. So I thought they were just gonna kick down the door, come in, like throw me and all of like my stuff out, maybe call the police on me. And every day I woke up just so afraid, so nervous that I'd have literally headaches every day. I'd get really high to try to forget about it or I would try to like buy some, I don't know, Chinese food or something just to get my mind off of things and to basically just help the pain subside because I knew what was coming and I was like very much so afraid of it. And every day was hell. I was making every day hell because I was so scared and that was my choice. Now when things did fall down, exactly what I feared happened. The person came, they realized that I had gotten like two weeks free and that I wasn't gonna be able to pay them. And yeah, I got kicked out and didn't have a place for a little bit and all of my fears came true. But honestly, getting kicked out wasn't really the worst part. It was the two weeks leading up to it where I was just psyching myself out every day. The second story, a similar thing happened. Again, in another life, 18 year old Alton out in LA, first year here, similar situation happened. It was the end of the sublet. I was telling the person, hey, like I wanna get it for another month. Please just give me a couple days to get the money together. And this time I kinda thought I'd be able to get the money together because I, I was working a job at this point, but something happened where basically I wasn't able to get the money quick enough to the point where the owner of the sublet wanted me to pay. So the same exact scenario basically was happening. I basically knew that I had about a week to two weeks before this person was gonna come, basically kick down the door and be like, hey, you gotta go, like get all your stuff and get out basically. But this time, my response was different. So instead of every day waking up being like, dang, it's, it's today the day that you know, you're gonna kick down this door and I wanna be out on the street again. No, I remember this time around, I was actually just at peace, I was calm. I chose not to worry every day because I, I knew, all right, well, this thing's gonna happen. But if I wake up and I, if I put myself in hell willingly every day, it's gonna just make it 100, 10, 100 times worse if I'm making it worse in my head of being so scared of what's gonna happen. Versus if I wake up every day and just live it, you know, not live it as if it's my last, but just live it like, hey, it's just another day. Well, the thing will still happen, but I don't have two weeks of pain of worrying and suffering, just like psyching myself out. Does that make sense? And that's really the whole point of this video is I want to let you guys know you have two responses to impending doom. A lot of times we have these things that come in our lives that we know are unavoidable and you can either choose to let it destroy you and wake up every day in hell, wake up every day distraught, worried, anxious, scared, or you can choose like the laissez-faire, just go with the route. All right, well, a bad thing may happen, but you'll still be okay throughout it. And even if you're not, making yourself worried leading up to the thing just makes it 10 times worse. It's like the analogy of God forbid, but say like if a family member were to pass away, well, 
you would think, oh, I gotta be destroyed by it, I gotta be crying, I gotta be ruined. But that's just like a normal societal response to something like a death in the family, a tragedy in the family. You could choose to be just stoic about it. You could choose to be like, okay, well, this happened and it was an unfortunate thing, but you could choose to let it not destroy you. You might think, oh, well, maybe that makes me like the prick of the family or something because I'm just like not so distraught and emotional. But that's not the case, you know? We willingly and actively choose our emotions. So what is it that you're gonna choose today? Maybe a bad situation is coming up or something that, not necessarily is bad, but something that you're just kind of nervous about. You don't know which way it's gonna go. You might be trying to ask a girl to the prom and you don't know if she's gonna say yes or no. Well, if you psych yourself out every day leading up to it, you could be thinking about it 24 hours a day, even in your sleep. You could be waking up out of your sleep about it. Or you can choose just to go on with your life. It's like, hey, it's another day. And if the outcome happens, that's like unfavorable to me, well, at least I'm not worried leading up to it. Comment down below if you guys get what I'm saying. Like, have you guys experienced a situation like this? Like, do you get the meaning of what I'm trying to say? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm posting a lot more talking videos here soon. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon.